Hey guys, welcome to a new episode with Conflicts. Today we'll be taking a look at the new Dash Robot from Wonder Workshop. Now this here is actually a fun, creative, as well as educational robot that actually teaches you and plays with you at the same time. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. Alright, so Dash is actually designed for ages 6 and up. And it's got a very nice picture of the robot itself on the front here. Now, as we rotate it, this here talks about how it's designed to grow with your child. In addition, it does show all the different accessories that you can actually create a catapult as well as some like musical instruments and some accessories in terms of how to make them look. Now, this actually has like an explorer set for ages 5 to 7 as well as an advanced set for ages 8 and up. That will teach you more about the whole coding aspect of the robot. Now, on the back here, it kind of talks about what the accessories or what it comes with. So it says you get one dash robot, a charging cord, as well as a building brick connector. In addition, it does show all the different accessories down here as mentioned previously. And it does actually sell, they do sell a separate smaller robot that you can actually use as an assistant with this robot here. Now it's designed for educational, creative, and simple. And then there's three different kind of apps that you can download, one including the Wander app, a Blocky app, as well as a Path app. So we'll actually take a look at them and just kind of get an idea and feel for them as well. Now on the side here, it kind of talks more about what its capabilities are, including interactive experiences, multiplayer robot, as well as precision control. On the bottom, just kind of talks about warnings, and then on the top here, uh, just kind of talks to you about what kind of devices are compatible. So you can use a tablet, and you can always download the apps for free, as well as the accessories, which are purchased separately. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside. Okay, so there was a box inside the box, and this one is actually saran wrapped, so let's go ahead and open this up. And this should just kind of slide right off. And there is our Dash robot. Wow, this guy actually is quite large. I did not expect him to be this big here. Now, this actually has a very, very interesting look to it. Off my first impressions here, I'm going to say like this looks like almost like a camera in here and there's some LEDs. Uh, the charging port is over here. You got three wheels here, one that rotates. And then you got some more lights, some sensors here. Uh, and then this, the head actually has a full range of motion. So that's actually really cool. So we'll go ahead and set this little guy down for now and take a look at what else is in here. So uh, it looks like he can actually kind of, no, I don't know if he can actually drive off, but that's actually really nice that they actually created like a little home for him. Uh, so we have an instruction guide here. It's like a quick start guide. Uh, it's pretty simple in terms of turning him on, but um, then we have the wire as well as these connectors here, which actually resemble Legos. So you can actually build off of them and actually create your own accessories, which is actually a very cool feature. All right, so let's go ahead and charge this little guy up and see if we could turn him on. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and just turn on our dash here. Uh, there's a power button here on the side. What? Huh. <laughs> so, uh, very interesting. I guess he speaks English. And uh, he does blink. He's got a lot of different LEDs on here, which is really neat. Uh, so he's got a lot of sensors, so he can actually determine when I'm picking them up. Uh, All right, so do note that in the store itself, there's actually multiple apps for this particular robot. One which is for like the instrument, one is for Dash as well as Dot, which is his little buddy that you can buy separately. And then there's a Path app, as well as a, a Go for Dash and Dot robot, as well as a Wonder for Dash and Dot robot. So there's different things going on here. So let's go ahead and try out the first one, and we'll click on this Wonder for Dash. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Uh, so what it wants me to do is go ahead and connect to our robot. Okay, and then we can go ahead and customize it, meaning give like... A, it a different color. Oh, so actually when I press the colors, the actual color on the robot, it changes as well. So that's really cool to see. Uh, so let's just go ahead and go with yellow. Uh, and then we'll hit connected. And then it says to drag this here and drop it there. Up. Oh, so we draw an arrow so we can actually connect. So you don't know if you guys can see, but um, we can actually uh, connect different things using an arrow here. So if I connect this to that, and then I hit play. 
He said hi. <laughs> So that's the celebration, huh? Ah, he's gonna fall off the desk. <laughs> so that's him excited. All right, so let's go ahead and hit continue quest. Uh, so there's actually a few different quests here in the Wonder Workshop. So we'll go ahead and click on celebration and just try out these different things here. It says, Dash is super excited to meet you. Let's help Dash celebrate. Uh, so again, we're gonna go ahead and drag the, um, so we can actually move like, create our own animations so I can actually move things around so what I'll do is I'll create a celebration uh, for our dash and then I'm gonna go ahead and connect the wire to it and I can actually control the time of it as well so uh, then I'll just go ahead and play all right so, <laughs> so that's him celebrating man this guy likes to move a lot <laughs> All right, so let's hit continue quest. Uh, then we're gonna go into GoBot. Now Dash is a wheeled robot that likes to move. So let's help Dash move. And uh, what we'll do is we'll make Dash play a sound here first. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that there. Uh, then we can actually pick our sound. So let's just say, uh, let's just say he says, gotta do it. Let's go. So we can actually go through all the sounds and hear him say it. All right, so we'll go see ya, uh, and then we'll go ahead and draw, draw the arrow to that, and then hit play. See ya. And that uh, was that animation, yeah. so that's really interesting. Uh, okay, so it says, after the sound, make dash automatically take off. So we'll go ahead and do the animation for takeoff, and then connect the arrow to it, just like so, and then we'll hit play. See ya. Whoa! <laughs> All right, so you finished the step. Are you ready for the next one? So we'll go ahead and click yes. And it says when you're on the move, sometimes you need to make an emergency stop. Uh, after taking off, make dash stop automatically. So we can go ahead and create another animation here for stop. And then we'll go ahead and connect that arrow to it like so. And then let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm gonna put dash over here just because I know he's gonna be running this way. And I'll hit play. And that was an emergency stop. <laughs> All right, so Dash literally does Dash, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, so now it says free play is officially open, so this allows us to actually just kind of play around with it uh, and then create our own different animations here. So we can actually, um, there's a lot of different things here. So there's different lights, there's sounds, there's animations, there's movements, specials, accessories. So let's just go ahead and create our own and see how this works out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, obviously this here is our beginning motion right here. Uh, and I will change his light to red. And let me go and connect that. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and make him do a sound. So I'll make him pretend like he's cautious and say, I'll make him say help and then connect that there. And then these are different animations. So move backwards, turn left, turn right, turn around. Avoid obstacles, stop, uh, burp, fall asleep, dance left, dance right, search, push, uh, wake up, say hi, laugh, etc. So there's actually a lot of different animations in here. So that's actually really cool. Uh, so we'll actually make him sleep. So what we'll do is we'll click on fall asleep. And then we'll go ahead and connect that to that. So I can actually like kind of drag them and place them anywhere I want, which is actually a very, very neat, neat feature. Now special, it will actually allow me to move to certain places, um, panel his head and give me more control over it. So like if I say move to, it says dash will automatically, autom automatically move forward or backward or to a specific location and then stop. So what I can say is, I can tell him to move forward about uh, 10 centimeters, and then I can actually like give him on my own controls, which is really cool. Uh, for accessories, we don't have. So let's go ahead and try this out, and uh, wish us the best of luck here. Help, help. 
So it does show you exactly as it was doing it. Now we, what we can do is we can go ahead and go into free play mode. Now free play mode allows us to create our own programs as well as save them. Uh, and then, you know, you can go ahead and create your own ones just like what we did earlier. So it's very neat. Uh, and then there's a controller mode as well. Now the controller mode allows you to control them just like a remote control. So let's go ahead and try this guy out. So I got control over his full head. I can, you know, move it up, down, left, right. Uh, in addition, I can actually change the speed. I can make it move really fast or really slow. So this is slow. And then this is fast. Whoa, so you just go weak. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he's got a lot of uh, spunk to him. Definitely a dash robot. <laughs> uh, then we can actually have different speeches. We can make him say, we can change his colors. Look at that, no way. Huh. So a lot of different things you can say there. In addition, I can actually, make, there's a microphone. So let's try that out. Select the slot and we can go ahead and record. Hey guys, this is Conflicts. Woohoo! <laughs> so let's try that. This is Conflicts. Woohoo! Alright, so it's currently transferring. Hey guys, this is Conflicts. Woohoo! Wow, it actually changes your voice too, so that's really cool. Um, so let's try it again. Hey guys, this is Conflicts. Woohoo! <laughs> so awesome! All right, uh, so I can create some more and just go ahead and yeah, and then I can create put them here. So look, I have the number one now. Hey guys, this is Conflicts. Woohoo! So I can actually create my own. Uh, uh, hey guys, this is Conflicts. Woohoo! <laughs> Very fun looking robot, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, so he's actually got a lot of different capabilities. In addition, you can go ahead and continue the scroll quest. Uh, so there's different worlds, and wow, there's actually a lot of different worlds here. And obviously, you know, the way it's programmed is it's it gets smarter as you play, so you unlock more features, which is really interesting. So let's go ahead and look at the next app here. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on the Go app. Uh, now, I'm not exactly sure what this is, so we'll go ahead and hit play. He's actually animating with the actual animation. Oh all right, so let's go ahead and let's go. let's go. So I'm not exactly sure what all this is, but let's go ahead and, so we have control over the robot, same way like last time. Uh, this is to control his head, uh, and this is to kind of rotate him as well as move forward. So it says here that we can program him. So there's different sounds here on the side that I can control. Whoa, he's getting dizzy. <laughs> That's really cool. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these animations here. Okay, so this one here looks more like the curious one. Uh, and then this one here, he gets a little dizzy. And then this one here is him being like a spy. Uh, no, he does have some, he has some LEDs going on in the back, so that's really interesting to see. Um, so this here are, looks like the colors that you can control on him. Uh, and then you can create, you know, obviously you can control again the colors. Uh, then this here is uh, like you can change the vibrance, I guess. So uh, it's got a pattern to the light as well. Uh, so I can go ahead and on, off, on, off, uh, fade in, fade out. And then just off in general or on in general. So it just gives you a little bit more control on the actual dash robot itself. Now these here, this is like a story mode that we can do. 
Um, then there's uh, different apps that we can do. So this is like a stem uh, in which you want to actually go ahead and create your own uh, animations, which is nice. So you can download all these. Uh, and yeah, this kind of gives you an idea about what this particular app is about. So let's go and try out the next one. So this one here is called Path. Now, path from what I'm seeing is just kind of allows you to actually follow a path or create your own. So let's see what it does. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first box here. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to create a quick path here. I'm going to have Dash just go from this point to this point here. But I want him to be able to push that box out of the way. So let's just go ahead and have him move two boxes. And from there, I can actually go ahead and make him say something as well. So I'll make him say that at the end. And then what I'll do is I will just, I can actually add other stuff too from other different things that I've unlocked. So if I want him to do like this tire screech, I can go ahead and do that as well. And then when I hit this play button, he should go. So let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to hit play. So he just actually came across the box and now it's asking me what I want to do. So either I can reset it or I can have him push it. So let's have him push it. Alright, well that gives you an idea of what Dash is about. Now it's actually a lot of fun for what it is, and what are you doing, Dash? Alright, well that gives you an idea of what Dash is about. Although it does cost $149.99, it's actually a lot of fun, and does teach you about robotics. In addition, there's a lot more that we haven't seen, which includes using a camera, as well as a line tracing feature to leave. But it's actually a lot of fun for what it is. Now if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, bye-bye.